Ben Nelson here with Nelson Brothers Painting and in this video I'm going to show you from start to finish how to paint a door. We're starting with this oak door. It's just raw oak wood. I'm going to show you every step from priming to painting to glazing to clearing how to give this an antique look. I'm going to be using alabaster from Sherwin Williams for the color and then I'm going to use black glazing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime this using bin shellac. I'm going to be spraying it and after I spray it, I'm going to brush, brush in the primer to help fill some of the grain. And I'll be wearing this mask so I won't be able to talk very much. When you're doing this, make sure you're working in a well ventilated area. I've got exhaust fans going. So I'm going to show you how I go about priming this. I'm just using an airless sprayer with a 310 tip. too worried about all the brush strokes and anything that's in the paint because we're going to be sanding this down anyway. I learned this technique from watching Shane Woods. Okay, now that the bin primer has all dried, I'm going to go ahead and sand this all down. I'm using the Surf Prep sander with the Festool MIDI vacuum just to help cut down on the dust. And I'm using the fine, the fine grit sandpaper with like a pad on there so the vacuum might be a little loud so i'm gonna go ahead and sand this down <laughs> sanded but I just like to make sure I got every little area and there's a lot of detail in this piece you can't really see it I'll try to get the camera up close but there's a lot of detail in there it's hard to kind of see but that would be really hard to sand by hand if I didn't have the surf prep sander thankfully I have this surf prep sander and it really helps get in there but now I'm going to kind of wipe this down and I'll spray the first coat of finish on there all right, now I got all this, I wiped it down with a microfiber and blew it off with some air. I'm gonna go ahead and do a coat of the top coat on there. I'm gonna do two top coats on this. I'm using the Malaysi. It's a European coating from Italy. Real nice finish. It's all waterborne, so you don't have to worry about smell. Fast dry time. And I'm using a air assist airless with a G40 and a flat tip the size is a 309 so about to get this thing sprayed out Malaysia on there I'm gonna go ahead and give it another sanding 
This time I'm using the super fine pad. I'm gonna scuff it up real quick. That way it just takes the next coating a little better. The next layer. So. Fiber, light it down, knock anything loose. Then blow it off one more time. top coat I'm gonna go ahead and spray this with the powder glaze I'm using the Renner powder glaze that's just what I got so that's what I'm gonna use here All right, so now I'll let this dry, and then I'm gonna wipe it off, and you'll see what it looks like after it's glazed. All right, so this is what it looks like after the powder glaze dries. And what you do, I don't have a lot of experience with this, so I'm still learning too, but I just take one of these scotch pads, and just, it's almost like an art. You kind of do, do it to your liking, and kind of leave as much glaze where you want, take it off where you don't want it, and just go to work with one of these so you can see it just comes right off this has only been drying for about 20 minutes so you can just kind of work it off leave it in the cracks I'm gonna take quite a bit off on this one just because I don't want a ton of glazing, but this is just so much easier than like the, the old way of doing it. This will save you so much time and headache and I think it just looks great.
So you can kind of see, this is how I'm gonna leave this one. I got some areas where there's quite a bit left. I took a lot out of the middle. You wanna make sure you don't touch this with your fingers because the grease on your fingers will really take a lot off and it'll look a lot different than the text you leave when you wipe it with a pad. But I just love how this looks. And then we're gonna clear this. All right, now that we got this all glazed and ready, I'm gonna go ahead and put the clear coat on the top. This is gonna help protect the glaze from continuing to wipe off, give it a more durable finish, a consistent sheen. I'm using like a 20 sheen for the clear coat, waterborne, like always. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my mask on and spray this out. this piece is all finished up you can see it just feels amazing I just love how this turned out this is just great check out this wow I'm trying to get like some angles of the sheen on there it's a it's a like a 20 sheen clear over the top of that wow talk about a game changer love that